Here's a bonus booty ballesque, ballet and burlesque. Start by bringing the feet a little bit apart, lifting up onto three-quarter toe and bending your knees. We're going to press the tail back and scooch the pelvis forward, coming into that nice rocking position back and front, zipping up the core to strengthen the lining of the core abdominals. Keep breathing. We call this booty ballet because it really does lift and tighten your booty as well as strengthen your core abdominals. We're going to press the heels down one at a time, still lifting in the core abdominals, rocking out with the tail behind and zipping up in the front. Keep breathing as we come up into a camel, soft in the knees. You're going to feel this movement rolling down and up through the abdominals. The camel really strengthens the lining of the core abdominals. So take your time to feel this movement as it rolls up the body. Keep breathing. Trying to isolate this movement, staying up on your toes. We're going to rock the pelvis back and press the hips forward. Keep breathing. Whenever you're ready, we're going to come into reverse where we lift the chest first and let the tail and the tummy follow behind. Take your time to really focus in on this movement. Pressing, lifting, elongating, creating strength and flexibility in your core centers of your body. Trying to remain on a three-quarter toe with soft bent knees just gives you that extra strength in your legs which will carry through into your abdominals. Gently press it back down, one heel down at a time as you gently bring the body down to a 90 degree angle. Stick out your booty behind you. Zipping up in your core abdominals, we're still gonna press the tummy down and up and gently straighten your knees. We're gonna lift the tummy up and the pelvis down in the small of the abdominals. Whenever you're ready, we're going to make circles in this very small place. Taking your time to rotate the hips down, around and up and switch directions whenever you're ready. This is all strength training for your lower abdominals. Gently press it out as you come standing up, hip to hip, heel down one at a time and take a breath. Really try to zip up before you press down from side to side. Take your time. We're going to come back down with the body at 90 degrees and keep zipping up in that core. Switching from leg to leg as one knee bends and one heel presses down. Gently release one foot forward and we're going to swirl into a one leg camel. Take your time to press the foot forward as we gently move the body. Lifting the chest, rolling it down to the tummy and letting the hips move freely. You can come on to a little rise if you're feeling daring and bringing that leg up into a bit more of a flick. This is similar to pas de cheval in ballet, which actually means the step of the horse. Coming to the other side, adding a little camel as we press the foot back and point the foot forward, trying to keep that momentum and that movement going in your middle. Coming into a little bigger flick with the foot at the hips and the body still moves in your little camel motion. Keep breathing. Try to stay lifted up in your core as we swirl around into our little figure eights. Bending at the knees, figure eight down, and then camel slowly up. And take a breath. Zipping up in your core, we are going to gently turn out these feet and rotate in the hips with a little plie just to help zip everything up turning the hips out and pulling up in your core abdominals. We're going to point the foot front and back into a little attitude, bat mon cloche, as it swings from front to back, 
If you'd like, you can cross the knee in front of you to get a little more abdominals, adding a hop if you're feeling daring. Sweeping that leg forward and back on a releve if you'd like, on a rise. Try to get that attitude in the back. It's really going to engage everything in your centre, everything in your middle, where most everybody needs the most work. Keep breathing as you swing freely in your hip, holding it in an attitude, extend to a ponche and gently suit a new turn to the other side. Let's swing this leg on the other side. Stay lifted in your core and create your own space to make sure you're not kicking anything behind you like I just did. And freely swing that leg in the hip. Reach the elbow down towards the knee for that cross crunch in the abdominals if you would like. Keep breathing. This is shaping, lifting your booty, tightening, elongating your abdominals, and then gently see if we can lift in an attitude, extend to ponche, and then gently release. 